PAD is the narrowing or the blockage of arteries outside of the heart that leads to uh, the buildup of plaque, cholesterol, um, and calcium, uh, which leads to poor oxygen-rich blood going to your upper extremities or lower extremities. If it's not screened in a timely fashion, and if it's not treated appropriately, this could lead to symptoms which include pain, cramping, non-healing ulcers, wounds, uh, changes in the color of your skin and your lower extremities or your feet, uh, changes in your nail growth of your lower extremities. And if it's not treated appropriately, it can lead to an amputation. Treatments for a PAD uh, comes um, in, in different forms. Um, the fundamental treatment strategy for peripheral arterial disease is lifestyle and dietary modification. It, this is an atherosclerotic disease burden um, that needs to be treated aggressively upstream and upfront. So we need to utilize lifestyle and dietary modification in addressing modifiable risk factors. For instance, if someone is a diabetic, they have to have their sugars treated. If you have high blood pressure, it needs to be better controlled. If you have high cholesterol, that needs to be addressed. And if you have an exposure to nicotine, meaning you smoke or you chew tobacco, you need to stop. When that phase of the treatment strategy needs to be escalated, where patients have symptoms that are resistant to those treatment modalities, we then go to medications, and then we go to interventions with our uh, stents, balloons, atherectomy devices, and sometimes we use uh, clot busting drugs or clot extracting devices to take out clot from the extremities. Uh, so lastly, there are surgical options for patients when endovascular procedures are, uh, have failed and surgery is actually uh, one of the important tools to have in your treatment algorithm. Lastly, when a patient is told that they need an amputation, it's imperative that we encourage them to seek a second opinion so that we exhaust all options before we utilize the last treatment strategy of amputations. Amputations uh, leads to a deadly outcome for the patient. Uh, it, has a, it carries a high mortality uh, in terms of uh, their outcomes if um, that is the first treatment strategy. Most amputees actually suffer disproportionately when it comes to the economic burden that it has on their health care, but also the economic burden on the families. If an amputation first strategy is taken, most of these patients, uh, about 20 to 50 percent of them, will be dead in the next three to five years post amputations. Most of these patients are Medicaid recipients who cannot afford a prosthesis. Most of these patients cannot afford the long nursing home care that Medicare only allows for a minimal amount of days. So the economic burden on this is significant, not only to the patient, but also to taxpayers, because the majority of these patients are Medicaid and Medicare, which that burden is transferred to we taxpayers. So there's a clinical, there's a human, and then there's an economical burden of amputations. Uh, that we cannot afford as a healthcare system.